Well, hello, everybody. Today, we're trying to make a decision as far as containment. We don't want uh, Lexi and Levi to be running out in the road and uh, endangering uh, themselves. And we also want to be responsible pet owners. So we're looking, being that it's getting cold out, uh, some type of either tie out cable with a stake and it goes around so it doesn't get caught up. I'm not promoting any products. The other thing is a stand play compact wireless fence. This, we initially use white flags, so visually uh, they know what the boundary is, and you keep that up for some time. Uh, this is the, trans I guess it's a transponder, where if the dog goes past a certain area that they've been trained to stay in, they will hear a beep, 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 beep. And if they don't get out uh, of that area, uh, they'll get a low voltage shock. And we will have it set like if you get shocked by a, a battery. So it's, it's not something that is hurting the dog and that makes us uh, really bad owners. So each dog would get this. So let's go outside and see what we've got going on. We're gonna keep the dogs on the back deck while I'm walking the yard here. That way they can just get some fresh air. Okay, so it's a nice cold day out. And you'll notice white flags throughout the yard. We walked the yard and selected a containment area. And you'll see they have we have it set where they have a nice amount of room to run and play in and sniff and play with leaves and even find some sticks. And again, that goes all the way around. So the next step is to have the dogs, each one will walk this border and give them a visual notification of this border. Then we'll put on the collar, set it at the very low voltage. And like I said, it's like a battery. So uh, it, it gives out a beep, 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 and the dog has the visual cue, the auditory cue, and if they don't want to do what it's, if you will, telling it, the dog to do, it, they'll get a low voltage shock, just like, We've all got shocked by a little battery. It's not a big deal. It's just a reminder. Uh, get back within the set territory. So that's what we're going to do. We are also thinking about uh, having a tie out for each dog uh, so they can go potty outside because when it's cold out, we human beings really don't want to be walking with the dogs, waiting for them to go out. So 
you can see they have a lot of room here to to run and play so that's what we have going on today i'm trying to find a flag close up for you here's a flag hmm. hold on okay there it is Ah, ah. You just put it in the ground when you feel the dog, maybe after a couple weeks, maybe even three weeks, you just take it out of the ground. If you want to redo the perimeter, all you do is reset the flag position and uh, everything else that goes with it you know i don't know what what it's called so uh trans transponder receiver this and that so let's take a look what it's actually that stuff's actually called look who's here silly and sillier hi you guys hi did, did you miss me? You missed me, didn't you? You did. You did. I know you did. I know. I know. Let's go look at what we're going to be setting up, what it's actually properly called. It's a compact wireless fence. So circular boundary covers up to three quarter acre uh, rechargeable receiver collar sets up in one to two hours uh, says the system sets up quickly neat you set up a boundary zone it could be all around the house just in the back we're doing it just in the back so system includes Transmitter with power adapter, receiver collar for neck sizes 6 to 28 inches, receiver charger, operating guide, 50 training flags, test light tool, uh, short and long contact points for short or long haired pets. Uh, Lexi and Levi will get short because they're not long haired. Uh, contact point wrench and you get a warm tea and there you go shows you how it works uh, it's a fence system there are no wires to bury just plug the transmitter into an electrical outlet close to the area where you want to contain your pet and charge the rechargeable receiver color in two to three hours. So, without boring you, uh, that is what we're probably going to be doing. But we're also going to do this, and this is pretty. This is pretty heavy duty here. It uh, it's solid steel shaft, and it provides anchoring strength and it's best for hard soil which we have and it has a swivel ring to reduce tangling and then the tie out cable that we have is 40 foot long so i think we're doing right by our pups uh, making sure they're safe no harm will come to them and they'll be ours for a very long 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 time Right? Right, you guys? Oh, Levi's looking to start chewing on something. Come on, come on. Okay, that's all I have. We will be talking to you later. And 
I guess Lexi wants to get things started already, huh? All right, that's what all we have. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.